Yo guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a free pit bike that I found last night. So I was going through one of the scrap piles last night and I found this pit bike. It's a 50cc, really Chinese engine heap of rubbish, to be honest. But yeah, as you can see, rusty disc brakes, spray paint, the chain's rusty. This probably doesn't even pull, I haven't even tried it. Um, whatever this even is, is covered in grease and oil. The carb looks like it needs a good old clean. The fuel line isn't even going into the fuel tap. And yeah, the rear fender that has snapped off. All the front, that is wonky. So yeah, this is gonna be quite a big project, I think really. Um, it's probably going to cost me more to fix this than what the bike's actually worth because I did just have a look and you can get these bikes for about £200 which really isn't much for a motorbike which means the parts are obviously very cheap but I'm not sure at all if the engine's even going to run obviously it's just not in a good state and I have just realised it has a key and it has an ignition and we don't have a key for it so that could be a problem. I'm gonna to have to get a new ignition for it. The bars, they need a good old tightening. To be fair, the front brakes do actually work. Um, I wasn't expecting them to work, but yeah, I'm gonna have a look online and see how much parts for these cost. I'm not sure if it'll be better off get me getting another one of these like off Facebook or something, like another really cheap pit bike that doesn't run and using all the parts from that. Um, Obviously, engine-wise, it could need a whole new engine, which wouldn't cost too much. I think they're about £40, £50, pound, which would be worth it. I'm definitely going to do it if it does need a new engine, but we're going to have a look at the engine first, see if it works properly. Yeah, see if we can get it running first. Obviously, I don't want to buy a new engine for it if it already runs. So, let's take it over to my workshop and start getting on with it. So, guys, the more I look at this, the more problems there is. Now that I have actually just pulled it over... There is, I don't even think I can call that petrol, it's like, it's like a dark red colour, but um, I'm going to plug that in to the intake, because obviously that's where it's coming from, so the throttle is very stiff, um, I think, I am just going to look that up quickly, I think if I cut the ignition off, if I cut the correct wires, I might be able to like bypass it so that it doesn't need an ignition anymore, that might be completely wrong, so I am going to look that up before I obviously start cutting any wires, so yeah, I'm going to do that quickly and then I'll catch you guys in a minute. Oh, suspension's good. So yeah, let's head inside now. I'm gonna have a quick look at what parts and bits like that I can get for this. And yeah, we can see what parts we can get our hands on. So guys, I am on my laptop now and I'm heading over to eBay to see what parts we can get for this bike. So hopefully there are some good parts and hopefully they're cheap so yeah i definitely need an ignition i am going to be looking at how much a new engine actually is it's probably just cheaper to buy a new bike but that's not part of the project i want to get this bike running uh, i'm going to have a look at how much plastics are and yeah little things like plastics i'm not sure if i am going to go ahead with because it is going to end up costing more than a new bike so yeah let's just have a look what we can get for now so a complete engine for one of these i can't actually find like a proper chinese one which is what this is i am going to head over to fun bikes because i know they i think they sell like bikes pretty much similar to this one that i've got so i know they do in their spare parts section sometimes have complete engines so hopefully they have a complete engine that we can buy that's really cheap so i think i have just found pretty much the exact same one it does look identical uh this is on fun bike so as you can see they only cost 265 pound as it is 
so yeah let's have a look on the spare parts list and see what we can get right so they do sell complete engines but it is a little bit more than what i was hoping to spend um they are 69 pound 90 for this one anyway it's a bright red one it does look quite good so if i am to buy this i am going to make the whole bike black and red we'll just go for the black and red theme but yeah here's the bike uh here's the engine as you can see 69 pound but it is a complete engine so yeah i am contemplating whether to do this or not i have just added it to my basket and i'm gonna add all the other parts i need to see how much they come to right so an ignition uh, including two spare keys is £12.24 so I have added that to the basket and there's some hand guards I don't think I'll be needing them yeah new chains £12 it doesn't really need a new chain I'm just going to clean that up and oil that so yeah we've got so far a new engine and the ignition which are the main things really now all we need i think are the spare plastics a rear mud guard is only five pounds seventy so i am going to be getting one of them all of the my, like all of the plastics are roughly five pound each which is ridiculously cheap so yeah i'm not really sure what color they are that's the only thing but yeah for five pound each plastic i'm gonna definitely get a rear mud guard and I do need a front one as well as probably a front fender as well so I'm gonna add them to the basket as well I have also just added to the basket a uh, brake disc because obviously that front one is ridiculously rusty so I have added that to the basket as well as some grips I'm not actually sure if I am gonna order the grips but yeah, I've added them to the basket just because I want to know how much it's coming up to first before I order. So guys, I can't actually find a front number plate for it. Um, so hopefully we can just make do with the one that we do have. So it has come to £92.74. So I reckon it'll be around £100 including shipping. Uh, for the engine, the ignition, the rear mudguard and a brake disc. So... I think actually while I've just said that I might go and add a spark plug quickly so yeah it's gonna be getting on for about a hundred pound and you can get the bikes for 265 and this bike will be pretty much brand new after that so all it's gonna cost me is a hundred pound for pretty much a brand new bike so yeah let's get this ordered and I'll catch you guys after that so I can't get a spark plug because they are actually out of stock but I have also just looked and these do cost £300 new but the one that I looked at was £265 because it's on sale. All of the other colours that they do have are £300, well £299 so yeah I am going to order all of this stuff so next episode I'm not sure when it's all going to arrive or anything like that so it could be up to a month or whatever until these parts do actually arrive. So yeah, I'm going to get these parts ordered and I'll be making an episode 2 to this uh, sort of build series and I'll update you on all the parts and hopefully we can get the new engine fitted into this bike. So my end plan for this bike is to surprise my little cousin with it. He does actually currently have an Osset, um, but yeah, he's never had an actual bike with an engine so this will be a perfect little bike just for him to get used to it and then I think he is going to be getting a PW50 which is obviously probably quicker, a lot more reliable and just a nicer bike because this bike is very cheap so it's just going to be a little surprise for him until he gets his PW50 so yeah hopefully these parts do arrive quickly so we can get on with episode 2 so yeah if you did enjoy today's video make sure you give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe Thanks for watching.